Freeze frame. Welcome to Rough Draft Gaming Playthroughs with me, Freeze Frame. I am using the HyperX Quadcast microphone and the HyperX Cloud 2's wired. Plugged into the PS5. Playing Ghost of Tsushima's PS5 upgrade. Including the DLC, which will be showcased very, very soon. There is a pillar of honor in the distance. Cool thing is, we already did that. The uncool thing is we don't get to do it again. Because it's pretty over there. Anyway, this is a special video. For it contains no real... Uh, major plot elements so this is a perfectly skippable video if you are interested in only watching the playthrough of the story main story or just the missions side you know just narrative based missions we're gonna just take a look at Ishuhara and um, Toyotama and clear out some of these no pattern just clear some out um, I guess the pattern might be like within vicinity. Like I was saying before, it'd be cool to just do like a map chunk by chunk. Ooh, I totally want to do a playthrough of that. Um, we probably should light this lighthouse too. Do you want to do that real quick? Let's do that real quick. Komoda Lighthouse. Now that I have the microphone in a new position, and I think I like it based on the last playthrough. I, I, I turned the uh, volume up. I adjusted the volume on the, the game itself a little bit. Turned it up a little bit because I think it was... Uh, the, the vocals were a little too loud. So I'm testing and, and, you know, messing around with it. But I don't really have any editing equipment or a computer that can do it right now. So I'm just working with what I have. And that's why it's rough draft gaming. I literally created a, cha uh, a channel that takes all the pressure of that off me until I get it. In which case, by then, I will change the channel title to Final Draft Gaming. No. We'll take it from there, right? So, we've gotten that lighthouse. Let's, uh, let's do some stuff. We've got... A farmstead, a farmstead, a dojo. This is a big one. In fact, this is the one we've let this one go for long enough. Let us. Oh, I, I really should mess with the pop screen. I did notice when it's at this position, you do get a lot of my hissy hissy. Um, we will approach it from the north. Or from the south at Golden Temple. We'll go to te the temple in the first five minutes just to do some housekeeping, grab the gift, because usually the first five minutes of our videos is a little bit of housekeeping, or me not being able to concentrate and figure out what the hell I want to do. So our gift was supplies. We can go to the bowyer. We probably could upgrade that longbow. Uh, and then there's the armor. Um... Our Sakai Steel is, is okay for now, because even though we could probably get the supplies easily to upgrade it, all the other things that you need aren't going to come as easily. So, can see armor. A major increase to resolve gain. So this is really an armor that encourages you to use your uh, special abilities. Therefore, we need to unlock some special abilities. Here I am yelling into the microphone. Uh, Dance of Wrath would be one that would probably be important. So I'm going to actually go ahead and do this one. Combat abilities and ghost weapons. This is very versatile. Um, uh, armor set that... There's that golden bird I keep ignoring. He wants me to go up there. See, I'm not, I'm not going to do it until the very last thing we do. Um, so anyway, it's a little bit warm to be wearing it in the fashion we are, are wearing it in. We have 17 flowers. 
Uh, let's go and check out the vanity gear. I think they have one for Kenzie. Um, you won't find these elsewhere. Oh, this is the bow. That's kind of cool. Nine-tailed fox. Let's see, Kenzie armor. So they do. They have a white die for the Kenzie armor. That's really cool. Um. Question is, do I want it? Because they have island bull. <laughs> That's neato. Um, I haven't said neato since like 1990. Probably six would have been the, the dying breath of neato, I think. Oh man. Okay. Well, you know what? I, I let's. I like what I have at the uh, with the um, with the Gosaku armor. But I'm eventually going to come back for that. That's just creative. Very 90s. Heh. <laughs> Speaking of. Uh, so. My work is impossible. That is a great headband. And. Uh, but I don't have enough for it. So it's whatever. Let's do it. Let's get the. Let's get. Let's get pure reckoning. We'll, we'll go down to the rice fields in Toyotama and, and spend a, a video of flower picking. Actually, you know what? Let's Let's not even do that. I will just do that and not record it. You don't need to see that. No one needs to see that. Right. Well, unfogging. Yep, we're gonna, well, yeah, we'll just unfog this little part of the map. Um, wasting time. This is why I need editing equipment, so if anybody wants to donate. <laughs> And we're going the wrong way. We should be liberating little camps. But we'll start with this big ass dojo. Because it gives us a technique point. Which will help us prepare for Icky Island. And it gives us some gold. Which that's good for the Sakai Steel. Supplies will come easy. Especially with the charm of Inari. Although if you noticed... I've talked it up quite a bit at the beginning of the game, and all of my previous playthroughs, I have uh, used it on most of my, on maybe half of my builds, especially, you know, the non-strictly combat builds, good for traveling, and... I didn't. I didn't use it that much this, in this uh, in this playthrough, and I think it's just because uh, maybe upgrading too fast. It's kind of nice to take it at a, a leisurely pace. This is okay. Is this it? Yeah. All right. So it's pretty warm. So we're gonna go over here and. Take a look at what we got. That's pretty cool. So this one's this one's all dark here. This one is this is the white one, yeah. That's that's nice. That's really nice. That's kind of cool. All right. Now, does the hat, does that come in a different color? I like that red. That's really cool. That's neato. Let's do that. Okay, this is our sneaky deaky guy. We're going to wear the white because if we do get caught, inevitably we probably will. Um, I'm going to be covered in blood. That's noticeable. Good news is... Red and white are v contrast each other very well. And the only really thing we got to worry about, I guess, is the Sashimono banners. For a place this big, and with the reward this good, they really don't require you to do that much. So you know what? We take what we are given because cute is what we aim for. It made no sense, but a great name drop. And I'm going to be honest, I've never heard a single thing.
I just want to do a name drop. And I stab uh, directly above his head uh, to inflict the killing blow. I thought this was going to be a bigger deal than it actually is. This is kind of... I'm not going to say it's lame because I'm having a good time, but it, it's, it's underwhelming. I'll say that. I don't even have to open the doors. I mean, it's done for me. All right, here's the Sashimono banner. I, I do like this mission because I want to collect those banners because I really like the horse saddles. The colors. I'm not unlocking the colors. It's fun. It's just it takes a lot of effort. A lot of it goes into it in this game because there's only so many. I wish they... I mean, all they really got to do is random a different color. Of course, the saddle part itself... How can I get both of them at the same time? I think Bla I don't know if black powder bombs hurt them. I think they just distract them. Did it get them? Oh, that's cool. You know, it's funny. Every playthrough, you do discover something different. Um. And I'm not discovering anything. I'm just using things I never used before. And it's working. Okay. So really, uh... You know, this is actually kind of nice. It takes the pressure off of uh, putting together anything uh, narratively cohesive. Because, uh, you know, if you're not taking some time to do... Like, if you're only focusing on the main mission and, you know, a couple of the side things like, you know, Masako and Ishikawa's tales, you start... A lot of the side stuff starts piling up and you get a little bit overwhelmed. Um, so it's good to take some time to break intermission from everything the only the only problem for our particular instance is that you know I really the main purpose is to showcase the DLC not the main purpose but the premier purpose the highlighted purpose the main draw in fact if I upload these and make them public that I'm gonna I'm gonna make it a point to highlight the the videos that contain that. So if people don't want to watch all of this bullshit that I'm doing now, they can just skip to the the showcase really of the DLC. I don't mind doing that and making it user friendly. I also don't mind doing the Shoji assassination on him, despite it making an unrealistic amount of noise. See, I have to go in like that. Okay. Oh, they're going to see me. I better go back in. Ugh, this is this is just a sitch, but then again, it, I think isn't this earlier? This is down south. This is earlier on in the game. You, you do come across this pretty early. I think it it is meant to kind of entice the. Uh, the early game player into tackling something big. The only thing is I'm, I'm, I'm relying too much on the bow. I mean, it, since it, the challenge is low, why not have some fun and be creative? And this is where we get discovered. We went, pr we did pretty good. Oh shit, see that, yep, yep, yep. Yep, okay, I didn't think they'd be coming from this direction. 
Although, I think that was the only guy who saw me, so we're still good. Oh, right in the throaty throat. And I think I'm just, for time's sake, once I get the last banner, which is over here. Yeah, this is actually a really cool um, area, like setting. I like it. After I get this last banner, I might just challenge the rest to a duel. Yeah, why not? Dude, I need some gum. Can somebody send me some gum? There might be a, a power keg here, yeah. Oh, no, might as well just do this. I saw it. I did see it when... See, I want to know what's up there. And it's more fun to, like... Grab supplies when you're sneaky deeking around. Oh yeah, it was over here. I remember it was by this this horse that's just chilling. I want to I want to do one a couple of these places that involve the hook. I'm gonna get right here. I'm gonna hide behind the horse. This is not this that's gonna hurt. That has holes in the fence. That is ineffective. Oh, okay. So I probably should get the mic down to eye level. I've been kind of talking downwards, which is punishment for this mic, because it's at eye level, which was suggested to me by Tube of You. And I am going to credit who helped me with this. They don't know they helped me with this. I just watched their video. But I'm going to give them a credit when it's time to upload this. I just have to remember it's this video. I think it's like part 23 we're on? Right. So the Kenshi army has no stagger. So this could take a while. And Dogar doesn't fuck around. He's not that hard to fight. He's just as hardy as hell. I mean, he hangs. Unless I'm thinking of the other guy. There's one of these warlords that hangs. And he, oh yeah, and he's got a quick swing, uh, much like many of the shield men and the the knife, the knife dudes that throw the sparky sparkers. So the good news is, is we're able to land some. Oh yeah, we're able to land some body shots that don't involve the staggering and. You know, he's an early on encounter, so he's not too difficult. We're kind of OP for him right now. I could really use some gum right now. Can anybody send me some? Although, I don't know. You guys probably think I'm annoying. You'll poison it. Send it to me. Take care of business. It's grim. And we can't see the Kinsey armor covered in blood because it's covered in mud. So we're just gonna have to do this in a field of pompous grass where the the mud is not a problem. So we got a technique point and another technique point. So double it. And there's new techniques available. Um, I guess. Oh yeah, because yeah, these can you can do two. You have to or I have to spend two. That that's that's decent. Um, I don't really care about terrifying enemies right now because I actually kind of enjoy cleaning up. <laughs> uh, what's this finisher? Oh, it's when you slide in and get him. That's cool. Yeah, that one's cool, but I, it's kind of... I don't like that one. its It just isn't very realistic to samurai. I don't know how realistic the combat in this is to actual samurai. Because I know they always say you fight more brutal than 
what's traditional, but this is just this is just hack and slash special ability. You know that that that's almost a stereotype at this point on these types of games. Here I am talking downwards again. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna mute real quick and just point it down a bit. Uh, that might help. If it doesn't, it's okay. All right, we've kind of ignored some of some of these things so for a while. Iron will be useful, but I want the challenge. Chain of Sashin of, Sashin of three is really good with the smoke bomb. I don't care about that one right now. We're doing okay with the bow. We don't need that. More kunai is always good, especially if they do more damage. Smoke bomb fumes restore some of your health. We've got oh we've got three techniques. Oh that costs two. Oh. Well, okay. Hey, um, all right. Let's do I guess we'll we'll, we'll... Yeah, I, I should have done the typhoon finisher. Anything to do with the spear dudes, honestly. I don't really do the kick a lot unless they're you can kick them off something. Okay, I should have checked my storage space before making this. We're good, but I'm trying to I'm trying to balance it. It takes forever for those YouTube videos to upload from the PS5, like literally like five hours. But yeah, and if I have to edit in 4K, I gotta get a like a 16 to 32 gig gigabyte RAM computer. All right, let's do rushing water crossing because f for honest, <laughs> for honest, that one has been. What's that? What's that saying? Like a like a tickle on the on the nose or something or itch on the back it's it's definitely a back burner location okay i'm gonna put my foot up sorry I, i'm sacrificing presentation for comfort right now but i have to remember i am ill that should be my gimmick like cancer gaming the only problem is I've already gone through the bulk of my treatment thus far in my adventure. You know, so you definitely wouldn't see me playing games, you know, during the treatment anyway. I couldn't. Chemo is no joke, especially for the type of cancer. I have, because, you know, there's different types of chemo, met, uh, medicine poisons, as I call them, and uh, and some treatments are prolonged over a long period of time, and well, my type, they napalm strike you, because it's actually fairly easy to manage and even shrink out, and I don't like to use the word cure, because it can always come back, but, you know, make it, they can make it go away pretty easily. Be because they, they you know they know it's a slow spreading, weaker type of cancer. Still, I mean, deadly if not taken care of within five years. Which you know you got the time, but it's a sneaky deaky cancer. You won't know you have it unless the tumor starts showing. And by that time, you're stage two. So you gotta make sure you get you check. You get checked. You check yourself, and you get checked. All right, you know what? We're gonna have some fun. I got one headshot. Oh, I thought everybody was gonna come rushing. All right. Oh, he sidestepped. All right. Well, he yelled. I'm gonna go and just bless nature here before I spread some carnage. Nothing? Oh, there they are. Delicious. Okay. Can we get? Yeah. Oops. We're in Sutsu, which is a, my favorite location in this game to pronounce. And I like the way it's pronounced by the characters, so I try to do that. Use that type of like 
I don't want to. I don't want to do that. I want to. I want to be brave. Uh, I'm gonna throw a wind chime right here. Dang it! So I can assassinate him. I've never done that before. Well, I may have done it earlier in this playthrough, but by habit, I've never done it before to use the wind chime in that way. Dude, these, it's almost comical how these Mongols have this ever, ever, you know, ever going on war with bears. It's like Robin Lopez and the mascots in the NBA. Well, I was trying to assassinate him. Uh, but I pressed triangle thinking there was a dude nearby and I'd chain it up, but luckily it was a one-hit slaughter. Which you'd think uh, many of these would be. But those Mongols are hardy folk. Always have been and are still. You know, honestly, I don't know if it's correct to call them Mongols or Mongolians. Uh, I have to look that up. So, uh, you know, I'm going to plead ignorance on this one. No ill will. I like to learn, so I am not a dumbass. Okay. Let's chain up these dudes since they're close. Oh, there was oh there was a little opportunity for that. Okay, cool. That was fun. Like I said, I want to do a camp where I have the opportunity to kind of swing around and be a little swingy dingy spider monkey in the trees. Okay, let's see. We can get them right. They are. Oh, they're looking this way. Oh, they're all congregating. It is a potluck after church over here. I could do the wind chime. Why not? Well, they're going to turn around. They'll give up. They're nature's quitters. Okay, right there, right there. There's my chance. Can I do three? Did I buy that one? No, I didn't buy that one. Let's fight around the fire. We'll use it as some sort of barrier obstacle. Trying to get my half bow equipped since it's quicker. Oh, really? Is that all? Oh, that was a direct shot to the heart, but he's got the plate on there. I kind of wanted to kill him with my sword, but I didn't think that would kill him. Because since he's a warlord, but... Or a... Uh, Camp General. Is that everything? Did we do this? Did we win? We did. Alright. Um, stone Arch. We could do Stone Arch. That steel is helpful. That's always useful. Trapper's got three upgrades. Let's check it out. Oh, oh good, good. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, we'll start with heavy arrow, and I think that's I probably all we can get, yeah. Yeah, we start with your base ammo first. Now, we could do some of these side missions, but I'd rather save these for, like, a separate video, like a side mission video. Another one that you could skip, like this one. Alright, this is pretty good. Destroy the logging camp. You know, I, I always do this one early in the game. And this is how we're going to approach this. We are going to approach it from the south. Let's say right here. And we're going to go, well, I'm going to pin it here. Yep. And we'll go here and then up north. And that will open up some of the map. I love how fast the PS5 makes this game. And on top of that, we are going to wear the traveler's attire. Yeah to make sure the map is unfogged. Not that we're doing that for completion, it counts, does not count towards that. That would be kind of 
open for glitches, probably. Um, so really what I'm trying to say is... I don't know. Blue Dream. <laughs> Sticking around, man. Tasty, tasty chocolate. Let's do our let's do our assassination. Dude, see, not a pro. Oh, there's a there's an archer. They have wow. I thought there was only three guys. And I thought that was the coolest thing, killing all three in that quick John Wick fashion. And I got trounced upon by a couple other a couple other motherfuckers. And now I'm making the Odeon sick spinning around the camera. And I can't get this little box open. Collect. Collect. This is nuts. Come on. This is nuts. There we go. That's some dead air right there. As we call it in the uh, radio business. I say we as if I did it. Like it's college radio. It's a great learning opportunity. But it is very amateur. I mean, you have limitations about, you know, what you what equipment and stuff. But honestly, told, you should listen to college radio. They play some good stuff. Stuff you're not going to hear on any other radio station out there. So if you're into stuff that's not top 40 or not saying that's bad or anything, not my cup of tea. But if it's yours, great. Whatever makes you happy, you know. But if if you're into, I guess stuff that's not on the radio. I don't know how else to put it because there's lots of John. I mean, if you're just into the the musicians or bands that don't get the exposure that's you get that from college radio and I think it really opens up your musical taste I I did I did it well I try to leave a certain amount of anonymity to these uh, this video these videos so early on but well yeah, I'll just keep it keep it as is. I did college radio. Well, I'm in this one. This is an ordeal now. <laughs> I don't want to wear this. Yeah, we'll make it quick by wearing this. Although, we could do ta Tadayori and just do that. But I think it's a lot quicker if we... Well, let's go ahead and see... See, I don't see it showing up on the map, so I'm confused. Will this activate a title? I don't feel right assassinating in Gosaku's armor. I feel like it's disrespectful to his legend. There is a Mongol's artifact. We're going to read it while we're being seen. Urtu. A system of couriers and relay stations used extensively by the Mongol Empire. Genghis Khan, in particular, gave special attention to expanding this network, as it was instrumental in providing information and supplies to the fast-moving Mongol armies. Sometimes I, I, uh, you know, noticeably have to take little breaks in between my words to suckle in some breath. That is the result of. Lung damage. Heal a... Oh, oh. Blindsided. I thought about fire in the sky. Um, healable lung, lung damage and organized pneumonia. Um, couldn't get around him. From the treatment. So. Plus I'm concentrating on the combat. And I can't multitask. But I can slaughter. Virtually, of course. 
Not like work from home COVID virtually, but in a in a video g g game. So lots of stuff to collect here. Is there more? Like I don't even know what this is. Is this? This it's not showing up on my map. So I don't know. Doesn't matter. We'll, we'll, we'll complete it. We'll just keep doing it until there's no red outlines. He's coming at me. Alright, well, I guess I've been seen. Which is strange, because he's all the way over there. I guess it was the noise he made. Oh, he did He did go red, so it, in the notice... In the... <laughs> Fucking blue dream, man. Screw me all up. Alright, they're all coming out, so we won. No cutscene about liberating it. Maybe this could be a glitch. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, nothing. Alright, you want to look? Let's go up north. Yeah, let's go up north, dude. There's some things up here. Liberate Numata Settlement. Good. You know, we could do a Norio mission, but not in this video. This video is about this. It's about slaughter. It's about fucking reclaiming territories. I mean, we gotta. if we're pushing north, we got to... You know, I, I play Risk. I'm not particularly insanely good at it, but... I've made... I've... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, you get to see a different, uh, a different freeze frame. We haven't worn the blue in a while. Let's go ahead and do that. Why don't you talk about demons right now? It scares me. A friendly deer. <sighs> yeah, it was around this area where that guy dared st uh, stab the Jito in the back. I had a, I had a uh, noticeable freak out. I think we'll go in through the pumpus grass. It is here. Where I'll change my clothes. We're gonna we're gonna do Ronin. I don't think it's necessary to, to do this. There's there's nobody that is important. You can use darkness, cults. That's kind of cool. I think I might have done you know vibrated the microphone a little too much there dude we need more of these actually we'll get a couple cool ones when we go to Iki Island we're gonna do Hachi Breath of Hachiman now we have to do this one because it's about the shadows which is what we're gonna try to do here defeat Mongols reclaim the stolen iron eliminate war camp recover Sasha release Falk you know what who wants to have some fun we're going to be the dark Ronin in this one. This is flavor. Let's get these flowers first. I want to pick the flower and then slaughter him as he approaches. Stand and fight me! I made that super cinematic. Now watch me fuck this up. He's gonna faint. <laughs> Let's get. It. Oh, <laughs> I was too busy making fun of him that I did. I, that was a cinematic moment that I just messed up. I mean, people. People need to. Damn it, I hate when it switches. People need quality. 
entertainment. And, and missing twice. And, and screwing everything else up. <laughs> okay, can I make up for it, everybody, if you're listening or watching? Look at this guy, completely oblivious. Okay. Oh. Woo! Woo! Okay, that was a that was a loud hiss and whiz. Right, I, this guy I think is gonna be skilled, but I want him. Because he, he's got the swingy dingy that really clears clears some flesh out of the way. Oh, <laughs> I, I panicked and, and went for the horse. Was he? Oh, nope. Okay, that got him. All right, stolen. We got. We reclaimed some stolen what? Metal? Iron? There's some iron. Is that what? What the fuck? Here's some iron. Is that also? That doesn't count. Okay. Oh, there's another one. Luckily, he has a face, which means we can get him. Oh shoot! Oh boy! Boy, howdy. Alright, this is gonna be fun. You want ready? <laughs> that critical strike really does help. I can't wait till I unlock uh, enough stealth where it uh, doesn't. It, it kills him. I think you can do that. Although I feel like I, my Tanto has been upgraded fully. So I don't know. Um, the fact that there's only 15 minutes left upsets me. Be I'll come back. Because I'm having a lot of fun. This is very relaxing. Wait, how, you, you were thrusting in a different direction, boy. That is not realistic. So I'm going to axe you in half. See, I thought the dojo would be more like this. And I had the opportunity to get that one early. Yeah, I don't care if I'm blind. <laughs> blinded. I'm blind! I don't care if I'm blinded. I'll, I'll block your attacks. Get that Mosho banner. Alright, I feel like I, I forgot something over here. Oh, well, it's not an important thing to forget, but it is the kind thing to remember. Damage enemies with a black powder bomb. You want to do that? Let's do that. Is that one of these things? Yeah. I did that to some dogs, but I think that was the other. Yeah, we'll get this guy. How many do I have to do? Three? That's many. Was he, he's damaged. Does he count if I do it again? Yeah. Okay, cool. We got it. I'm going to go back to the... to Well... Well, well yeah, we'll do the wind chimes. However... Oh, I don't want to do that. I don't want, Well, actually, you know, it's kind of fun to do that. So we had the bow. We'll go back to the kunai. We'll do kunai. That's some Batman shit right there. You throw enough of them and it gets them all the way. Wholesale death. This 
This is so much fun. Oh, I want to do the... I want to do the, uh, the assassination. Oh wow, there's a few more. Alright, well... The stealth is fun. But we should clear map here. I am the breaker of the cages. I believe in those going away. Oh, there's a there's a chest. Let's let's grab it. But but there we go. But not in the way you think. That's can't really say that anymore. <laughs> That's funny how he just kind of disregarded his life. <laughs> Don't be so dramatic about it. I mean, I get it, but imagine it doesn't feel spectacular to get a smack down by an arrow. I wish that horse was highlighted red. Not that I'd want to harm the animal. It's, it's more or less that the horse is evil. Or considered a bad guy. I, I'm not going to say evil. This is a long one. This has uh, consumed time. Oh, he's facing this way. But you know what? That's okay. I'm sure we could squeeze one more in, like a small one. We still gotta get those banners too. Yeah, this one's this one's taking its time. I hope the audio is okay. I because I did turn up the game volume, and I am mumbling again. I, I think that's just I, I should just I'm no longer freeze frame. I'm mumbles McGee. Actually, that might not be a bad idea. That's a, that's totally rough draft because then I never really have to regulate or maintain a certain personality that that's upbeat and difficult. I can just mumble, and nobody will expect anything more or less from me, which is really all I want in life, except for success for for my for my loved ones. And longevity as well for them. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, you know, I don't know. I've, I've done pretty good with the stealth, but I'm done with it. Let's do this. We, we I want to get one more liberation in, so we got to, we got to hurry this shit up. See the kicks. Cause them to not do anything. They cause they cancel out their ammo, and it causes them to not be able to finish their attack since they're so heavy. Oh, he he got me on the on the, the uppercut there. See, this would be a well. I think we're in Toy Thomas, so yeah, it's gonna be. I'm not sure why he has a thing, like a, a marker. I don't know what makes him special, but he is hard to kill. Oh, they all do. Good, good. I'm glad I got him. That was fun. That was actually uh, that was a formidable battle. I like that one. And we got a banner out of it. Everything's coming up Millhouse tonight. Alright, what else do we got? Two more. Let's follow the wind. Oh, there they are. Okay, let's follow this wind to them. Now we can just follow the markers, but I really want to fit one more in. Or else it's, it'll seem like not enough was done in an hour. But we did clear a big one. I mean, opening up this map really helps the peeps, the peeps of Tsushima, so. Alright, we did it. I bet, yep, any can't war generals or anything? Nope. Ladies and gentlemen, it is liberated. Thank you. You're welcome, Numata. I'm really close to the microphone, by the way. Rough draft, rough draft.
Okay, sorry about that. There, um, like I said, time and place for everything. Actually, I've never said that. If I move quickly, uh, I had position. to take a couple points. swigs of my orange crush. His orange soda needs to be attended to most of the time. Good horse, noble. I really gotta, you know what I could do is just mark these as separate videos. I'm still kind of figuring out uh, the PS5 um, interface for the media gallery and renaming things before uploading them on YouTube and because I'm doing it in order. You can only do one at a time. Um, yeah, we'll do it by area. Stonemeyer Lookout, let's do it. I think we can get it done. Still figuring out the PS5 stuff and what it can do and how to rename these things, but I'll, I'll name these. I'll kind of come up with a. Uh, what am I trying to say? I really like this area though, the setting. I'll try to come up with a way to mark these as special and skippable, like, in, you know give the audience that option but sometimes I have to kind of rewatch parts of the video to remember what happened so I can give it the, the title accordingly so I'll just do that with these with these videos sorry that was a lot of effort right. you know what we could do let's showcase the armor so we showcased Ronin during that last one, and uh, the stealth was executed pretty well in my opinion. I think I had to toot my own horn. I'm going to fart it instead. I did a great job with the stealth. <laughs> I'm not doing so good now, but I'm going to chain three mofos here to clear some space. Oh, I can't wait to watch that in a replay and, it, and admire my own work. Now I have the confidence. Oh, of a Wall Street executive, I guess? Did I get him with the heavenly strike? And he runs away. No, I'm gonna end it. Damn it, you the fucking archers ruin everything that is cinematic and cool. Fuck you. You know, I'm gonna taste your own medicine. There you go. Hey, we got seven minutes left. We could probably do one more. And we traveled here. Although I do wanna, you know, collect in here important because there might be artifacts and there seems to be a lot we can get so this isn't a bad idea dude I love using the smoke bombs I gotta tell John Grady Cole it's my new thing now Sully? oh man I hit that raccoon I gotta tell Sully it's gonna be sight For those of you who've never seen Hot Rod, get your get off your ass, sit down on your ass, and watch it. It's it's fun. I wish you were a pillar of honor. It'd be a great place to put it. All right, did, is this it? Did I do it? Yeah. All right, let's. Uh, you want to hit up this one? See if we can do it. I think we should do this one next too. Clean it up shop. Okay. Nothing closer, huh? All right, we got a roll. So I showcased the Gosaku armor, but I did it poorly, so I'm going to use it again. Unless the Rebels Retreat encourages stealth, in which case I'll switch to Ronin or Kensi. Eventually, and not too far from now, we will be getting, I guess, the the 
the armor that is specifically made for stealth. So you get some bonuses from both the Ronin and the Kinsey armor. I have no time for you guys. I do have time to always get a flower, because that's currency. And we need that to look good and pretty. It's uh, kind of like how things are in our system of doing things. Assuming you think I live in the United States. Is this where we are? Okay, this is our... Alright, this is just to defeat them. Oh, the only thing is... You know what sucks is... I can do... I can do a three-person standoff. And I, I, I wasn't paying attention and I charged into this. I have to go I'm getting the F down. That's gonna be brutal. Alright, let's showcase this. So it has normally good stagger, but I, I could stand to upgrade this like two more times, so it's not gonna be as powerful in Toyotoma. As you can see, um the I'm just not doing too well with combat right now. I'm kind of taking the cheap route, you know. So really, I'm sh showcasing the Kenzie armor right now. <laughs> At least the playstyle that that's that's encouraged. That's a double kill. Okay, so that's what the that's the kind of shit that this armor does. I mean, it doesn't give you ability, but I mean, you fuck shit up. Not to be crude and get this video canceled for vulgar content, but. I'm just not doing good with my defense. But it, this has great stagger. If I can't showcase it because I'm just not feeling my combat rhythm. Um, that's alright. I'll, I'll do better next time. There's plenty of opportunities. And you know what sucks is I should have been stealthy. Because I could swing around. It had opportunities to use the hook and swing around. Which I've, I wanted to do. I think I made that clear at the beginning of the video. I have, I have a pretty good feeling that Toxic Demise? Wind Chimes release poison vapors that kill enemies who pick them up. That's cool, and I like that. That's definitely going on Kinsei or Ronin or the up, upcoming armors. So we have two minutes. We can plan out the next video. It wouldn't hurt to uh, progress... Yeah, it wouldn't hurt to do this one and this one. We could clear these two. We'll start with this one, and that will help us with this one. I think that's a good idea. Although, we could do a part two of this, and that actually makes it a little easier, because they could, you guys could skip two. <laughs> you guys, as if there is any. Alright, and we clear the map, so. Let's end it by seeing what this is. Come on. Anyway, if we run out of time, I am freeze frame. I'm going to take a little break to deal with some side effects of my former treatment, previous treatment. Nothing, nothing too major. Oh, it's a, it's a fox. Maybe, it'd be, well, well. If we run out of time, at least it's a majestic time to do it. So, I am Freeze Frame. This has been Rough Draft Gaming Playthroughs. This is Ghost of Tsushima. Um, PS5 upgrade. And look at this. Another blessing. I think we were... A <laughs> I blew that blessing. I was like, we, you know, we were right there. We were right there. Um... To end it perfectly. That this is the first time I think that we didn't end it miraculously at the last second. That's okay. Can't win them all. Even the Patriots.